amazing amazing i feel like okay thank you so much for actually accepting to do this um interview or rather of my hcc series yeah. and you guys i just want to plead with you guys like this guy he's a good footballer and he's currently in jinan but he can travel like around china wherever you have maybe a team or a, a big team you guys need a nice sorry what's your position in the football oh i don't know how it is <laughs> okay i play like i'm your left winger oh he's yeah, a left winger so if you guys need a left winger or a footballer in your club you guys please let me know i'm gonna keep um his contact his um instagram handle his facebook handle his number you guys watch it watch it watch it watch it i love that i love this game <laughs> man <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How do you feel today? I mean, you are in a very beautiful place, and I just can we know about this place? Okay, actually, this is a uh, China Jinan. That is a uh, Jinan train. Jinan, Bao Kuan Holy, like a very a place. Close to uh, it, uh what is it called? Kwan Holy, and it's called this place is called Bao Tu Chen, you know, Jinan Bao Tu Chen. Yeah. All right. So, um, do you base in Jinan, or are you just passing by? I uh, actually based in Jinan. I'm a, I'm a student of Shannon Noma University. Okay, that's amazing. And I heard you are a footballer. Can you tell us more about that? Or oh, first, tell us about yourself. Uh okay guys, I'm Halford Isaac from Nigeria and actually I'm I'm twenty four years old and yeah, before I became a footballer I had plans of becoming a medical laboratory scientist, you know. And back when I was in Nigeria I was like trying to get my bachelor degree, you know, I was in first year and at the same time I was studying Chinese, so I had to give up like uh studying my major for the Chinese course, so I could come to China and you know to restart life again. So I was like trying to fight to get my medical laboratory scientist degree, and you know it wasn't like unfortunate for me. It wasn't it didn't go well, you know. So I had to like jump into Chinese course and then come to China and then start playing my football, you know. Since my plan A had, didn't work out, so I had to go for the plan B. Yeah. Okay, um, that sounds that sound a bit sad, but yeah, I mean, do you think coming to China has, has impacted you or not? Actually, uh, I never planned coming to China, you know, before I came here, I, I had to like, you know, do some investigation, like, to know more about China, you know, and actually, I think, yeah, China has a great impact on me because it was actually what I asked, you know, when I was back home, that's what I'm seeing here in China. And yeah, you can make your dreams, you know, your ambitions, you can get everything here in China so easy. I think so. Okay, that's that's quite encouraging. Anyways, so anyone that may be seeing this video, this is Mr. I, um, Alfred Isaac giving yeah. you guys the advice you want. All right, so um, can you tell us more about your football life? How far have you gone and how do you start how are how are you right now and how far do you intend to go okay I started playing football at the age of three and uh, I never had plans of giving up playing football because that's part of my family you know my dad was a footballer and I remember my dad said never stop playing football so I kept this dream going on while I'm also studying my Chinese and now I'm in China and I I've already joined like a Chinese football team and although it's not that professional but at least I'm getting like some money you know just to you know encourage myself and you know keep moving forward but it turns out that it's so difficult like to play as a professional here in China if you're a foreigner because, you know, even the Chinese themselves, they find their way outside China to, you know, make their dreams and make sure their dreams come true. So as, a, as an indigenous, if it is hard for them, then I think it has to be very hard, very difficult for a foreigner. So 
I think uh, that never discouraged me, you know, because at least I've already met like a lot of, you know, bad, you know, bad setups and obstacles when I was, you know, growing in a football field, but I never stopped, you know, and yeah, you know, it's not easy to play football here in China. So my, my dream, my destination and, you know, my focus is just like, I make my money, I play my games and try to give it my best. If it works out here in China, fine. If it doesn't, anywhere the dreams take me to, I think I have to go. Yeah, it's part of life. We keep moving forward. Yeah. Wow. Okay, you are, you are quite inspiring, Isaac. And like, what's your dream country to follow your dream? Uh, my dream country, my dream country, my dream country. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my dream country is to go to England. Yeah, England. that's my destination. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I hope, I really hope this video goes far and we can get Isaac the help he needs, the connection he needs. So, you know, go to England and play for what club would you like to play for? I know, let me guess. Don't guess. Come. Uh, um, oh, oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't okay, know. Uh, you know, uh, as a as a person that is trying to go to England to play, uh -huh. of course you have to like like uh, you have to you know love uh, so many English football teams like uh, there's Chelsea, there's Manchester United, there's Arsenal, Liverpool, yeah, so many of them. But I'm you know I'm I, I'm proud to say I'm a Man United fan. You know, oh, okay. so you know my aim, my ambitions, my dreams, my Everything in my focus is just I have to make sure I get to Man United. So whichever way it's going to take me, I know it's going to be a long way, but whichever way it's a process, I have to trust the process. You know, life is step by step by step. So just <laughs> as long as you are moving, mm -hmm. even if you are going slower, uh -huh. faster, keep moving. That's, that's just, you know, that's the best. Never stop. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. I feel like, okay, thank you so much for actually accepting to do this um interview or rather of my HTC series yeah. and you guys I just want to plead with you guys like this guy he's a good footballer and he's currently in Jinan but he can travel like around China wherever you have maybe a team or a, a big team you guys need a nice sorry what's your position in the football oh I don't know how it is <laughs> okay I play like I'm a left winger oh he's a yeah, left winger so if you guys need a left winger or a footballer in your club you guys please let me know i'm gonna keep um his contact his um instagram handle his facebook handle his number you guys can call him give him whatever sponsorship you can give him and let's just help help okay help this channel and also help our brother help, help, in help, jinan help, 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 help. um china england and maybe like um yeah other places actually so you're a student and a footballer so what advice do you give to people maybe trying to come into china and maybe are footballers uh my ad advice to people trying to come into china now is uh, of course you all know that china like the border is open so i believe it could be like easier than you know past few years you know so i think people sh that are coming to china should like you know never stop your plans okay if your plan is to come to china just try and process it no matter the protocols no matter how long it's gonna take you as long as you are trying to make you know a step just apply and then get if it is for job or coming here as a student or you know or you have other dreams you can just try and you know come to china it's okay you can just start life here also Ooh, thank you so much. You guys, you've, heard, you've all heard from Isaac, Alfred Isaac. Thank you so much. And this is going to be the, 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 I don't know. All right. Anything. Just close the, close the <laughs> video. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. And, oh, I also forgot for footballers, like, oh, okay. footballers I would like to play in China. Like I said earlier, like, it's not easy for a foreigner to play here. You know, you have to, like, I, I once asked around, like, if you have to become a football player, you know, you're in China, you just have to, like, how do I say, like, you're from a bigger team outside China or within China before you can play a very professional team here in China. So, as a footballer, there are 
actually there are so many connections but it's not that easy to not always be easy like that but if that is your focus if that is your dream you just have to keep pushing forward never stop yeah all right you guys and that's gonna be it for this episode on my hcc series i wanna do so i wanna do so i wanna do so watch it watch it watch it watch it watch it i love this game man <laughs>